Hey everybody, Step Voice McGee. It's very cold. Worked myself too much lately and yeah, made myself sick. So, day off. Here's the tumbler thingy, my jiggers. You know the drill. Love you guys. Bye bye. Ah, look at him go. On the How is Pregnant form video, I saw a comment that said, Dad, I'm Pomegranate. So I quickly took the opportunity and replied, Hi, Pomegranate, I'm Dad. I'm ashamed yet proud of myself. I am proud of you, Nari. Good job. You're doing the Lord's work. You should definitely say a bunch of sarcastic, passive-aggressive, or extremely violent shikesters in Melmo's voice. Oh yeah, I will totally get on that. You see this guy? Look at him! Look at his ridiculous, stupid potato face! I wanna give it a kiss. Have you ever tried spaghetti tacos? What? Me talking about twins. And they were woomers! Son of a Belvita breakfast biscuit! I have a new name for My Hero Academia fans. Macadamia Nuts! <gasps> I love it. On Wednesdays, we wear PUNK! I would sing it, but... No. I do get the reference, though. You mean girl, you? Hello, brother. It is me. Oh, no. Boop. Do you think Dr. Frankenstein had to give the monster junk, or did he get someone with no junk? I can't... I can't unthink this now. Did you know that there is a place in Sweden called Hlorvin? Translated, it means the ass. I didn't want to believe this one. Then I looked up Reuven, and it is a place. And technically, the slang term for our soul is Ruth. So, he's technically not wrong. Today I saw a pink car and yelled, PUNK! Much to the confused amusement of my mother. Just thought you should know. This is your legacy in her mind now. Yay! Wait a minute. How do you feel about the new Aether Raids added to Fear? Well, I enjoy the battles, but knowing how many times I've lost to opponents hurts my soul. Why must people hurt brave Celica, little Tiki? At a formal event, should I call you PM Seymour or 13 o'clock Seymour? <sighs> Good joke. Who hurts Arena PM Seymour? I don't know, Commissary Eric. But for the first time in my life, I actually feel bad for the Askren twins. On a side note, though, Intelligence Systems, when are you going to give me an alternative? Anna, hook me up, please. Welcome to the United States of America. To make things a little easier on yourself settling in, we have simplified all of our regions into their biggest factors. Our regions consist of cold, hard R states, it's called pop, not soda states, yeehaw states, weed, used to be Mexico but now hate Mexico states, Mormons, California, ah, I see Mormons snuck in there a little bit, uninhabited, islands, which I personally like to call little spicy and cold spicy, and finally, weed too. So come on down to the United States of America, where everything is totally okay. On the surface level. Tumblr, what does this mean? <laughs> Green eggs and room! I saw that, and I shut my laptop, and I walked away for a solid minute. I know, what a waste of a good RAM. So it helped me find that image of four cats being held up in front of a brightly colored background. The cats look calm being held, but they each have their own personality. Never mind, I found it! Tag yourself, I'm a grumpy striped one. Their slogan is stronger than Greece. And I was like, okay, yeah, makes sense for a dish soap. Wait, Ajax was a Greek soldier and renowned for his strength. Ajax is stronger than all of Greece! Someone who worked at Ajax has literally waited 66 years for you to get this. <laughs> Daddy! You have been visited by the chunk of good luck. Good fortune will come to you, but only if you say, Our Lord, he coming! This is the cutest tiger I've ever seen. Look how fat he is. I love him. 
I love him so much. I just traded my neighbor a jar of raw honey for his parakeet's corpse. It is also worth noting that the only reason I have so much raw honey is because I made a dress for a beekeeper's daughter, and that I needed the parakeet bones to make a necklace for a woman who fixed my antique cello. And that I got the cello as a payment for juggling at a child's birthday party. When did my life get this weird? Dude, your life is a fantastic side quest. Throughout your life, people would try to tell you that puns aren't funny. Those people are wrong. Punish them. You mean like, PUNISH THEM? <laughs> They're all gonna die. My sense of humor, suggesting kill them as punishment for an extremely disproportionate crime. He stole my eraser. Kill them. Staring at an object that has fallen over for a prolonged amount of time with inordinate disappointment, points at a garbage can, that's me, zooming really far into someone's face on Snapchat, something minorly inconveniencing happens. God, what did I ever do to you? What are you doing? My best. Shortening words that are already shorter versions of other words. EX, thank, congrat, welk, and bees? Top 10 must visit destinations. My bed, my bed, my bed. My bed, my bed, my bed, my bed, my bed, my bed, and my bed. Is this meant to be a testament to how lazy you are, or are you trying to seduce someone? I can't tell. Both? I'm trying to seduce someone, but I'm too lazy to get out of bed. Hey girl, come over here and grab my Terry Fultz. Mosquito on my screen hasn't moved in the past five minutes. <clears throat> you your bugs, get in this circle. Ugh. There's eighth dimensional super beings doing this shenanigans to me right now. Do 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 do. Hey, guess what? What? Sudden overwhelming sadness. That's what. Come on, man. Memento mori ring. England, late 17th to early 18th century. Dude, you could put like a skittle in there. Uh, yes. Dude, your flies down. Existence is pain and suffering. This mysterious chicken church is located in the middle of the Indonesian jungle. The abandoned building itself is quite bizarre, but even more bizarre is the fact that there are 12 underground chambers. The world is filled with such wonderful things. And so the Lord doth say... Kah! They call me coffee because I grind so fine. They call me coffee because I keep you up past 2 a.m. They call me coffee because I'm really bitter and most people don't like me without changing some aspect of what I am. Oh! In her essay, TikTok, the great philosopher Kesha declared that the party don't start until I walk in, which is clearly meant to convey that any recreational gathering is not truly a party until Kesha herself arrives. <laughs> but what if Kesha were to leave the party for some period of time, only then to walk in again? This paradoxical scenario in which a party must simultaneously already exist and not exist yet is known as Kesha's Quantum Party and her stump theoretical physicist for decades. If you're wondering why I went with that voice, I kind of looked at his icon and thought, yeah, he probably sounds like this as he writes it, right? My reasons for doing things. Spite, the aesthetic. That's it. When you sneeze in front of your pet and they look like you've just offended their great ancestors. <gasps> Dishonor! Dishonor on your whole family! In any given moment, there's a shark behind you. It might be a thousand miles away, but there is a shark behind you! And that shark is totally behind you. It is supporting you in whatever you do and wants you to succeed. Yeah! Sidon? Are we talking about Sidon? It better be Sidon. He's the only shark man I appreciate. He believed in me when no one else would. <laughs> oh, I feel happy! Hope you enjoyed those five minutes. Oh, no! I'm just saying, if Izao was a bigger fan of All Might, he could have called his quirk none for all. Since you're Irish, when you're mad at someone, you could say you have 100% Irish beef with them. Oh, that was a good one. Notice as you can make a pun out of a meme. Don't say it, 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 don't say it. It. Seymour, do you take constructive criticism? Oh, of course, go ahead. More! Yeah, okay, cool, sure, lol, wow, rip, yeah, well, ma. The nine deadly sins of text messages. And the truly forbidden one. Oof. I'd love for a Fire Emblem game that made the falchion's design be what an actual falchion looks like. Plus, it would be amusing to see a main hero not use the straight double-edged sword of protagonism. Why does South Park use a man bear pig for their Al Gore episodes instead of? It's an allegory. Let Seymour say Fudsicles 2018. No, it's an overrated curse.
Overrated, you say? Let's see more say boob 2018. <gasps> Scandalous! Travis has broken my heart! What a travesty. That was a bad pun and you should feel bad. Would you say it's terrible? I'm Jay the Puns! It's way too late to start doing puns! I'll stop the puns when the angels fall! Me, after literally hours of playing pho. Just because you're hot and or cute doesn't mean I won't fight you! That's basically the game. Okay, but could you describe the whole pho series in just five words? Oh my god, they died! I think the youngins call this same energy. Also, both dudes have a blue-haired best friend. Hmm. Hmm. Roses are red, violets are blue. You can do this. I believe in you. Yo, heart! Apologies if I screw this up. <clears throat> Oopsie whoopsie! The train is stucky wacky. We send her heart at work on the back at we can see better feeds in. Ooh! Please stop. Dutch is barely a respectable language as it already is. Why you must hurt my kokoro like this? His name is... Snurt. Everybody who read blog to this post is going to hell. This is a picture of baby Jesus. No, his name is Snart. <sighs> I guess I gotta perform some miracles because dad told me to. Ugh. I love Persephone and Hades because everything Western tries their best to make him seem like this stern, powerful, dark guy when in actual mythology, he was probably more like that guy in your language arts class who writes his own poetry but throws it away because he doesn't think it's any good, and he listens to bright eyes, and he's teaching himself to knit, and then there's this girl he likes at school, and he thinks he'd be a good boyfriend, and so he tricks her over to his house to work on a group project, intending to put the moves on her, but she gets inside and is like, wow, your parents are loaded, cool, you've got all this great food in your fridge, this is awesome, I'm never leaving. And it's just really stressful time for him right now, okay? I imagine Demeter, Persephone's mom, is like a crunchy granola vegan person, and half the reason Persephone likes being in Hades' house is because she doesn't have to eat quinoa in there. She just wanted a dang pomegranate without a lecture about carbon cost of transporting it to the store. Is that just too much to ask? Meanwhile, Western culture really likes Zeus, and in reality, majority of his stories were him putting his slanger into everything. Upon second viewing, I have definitely concluded that Guardians of the Galaxy is even better when you imagine it as a tabletop campaign with an increasingly frustrated DM who's sick of being interrupted. Roll D10. Red high, 12. You have 12% of a plan. The entire prison break scene was just Rocket's player rolling knowledge checks on every turn until something worked. Oh my god. When Drax's player said, I go to the phone booth and call Ron into nowhere. The DM stared open mouth for a minute, then called break time, and the rest of the party was speechless. Pretty much just in general, Drax's player is one of those people who thinks chaotic neutral means throw self at shenanigans for the lulls, and is really fortunate he didn't have any other opportunities to derail the campaign. Gamora's player gets really exacerbated by the entirety of the campaign. They rolled a character with a tragic backstory and clear hooks to the villain to expand on and had no idea that everyone else was going to be so silly. It's leading to begging the party to just once execute a normal plan because look at Gamora's stealth bonus. The min-maxed assassin needs a chance to use her abilities, please. Rocket's a skill monkey who, if not for Drax's grand display of idiocy, would have gladly derailed the campaign with absurd plans. Groot was a joke idea someone came up with that people ended up liking too much. And Ronan's confusion when Star-Lord began dancing was the DM's confusion verbatim. The DM now vetoes chaotic neutral characters on principle. Hey. Everyone's bones are wet. Why would you say this? No one said hi back. I would've. At night, the coral reef parrotfish sleep in a blanket made of mucus to protect themselves from parasites. He looks so pleased with himself. I spit at myself so nothing will eat me. It doesn't matter how terrifying or monstrous or deadly you make your eldritch monster, there's gonna be a person who hauls themselves out of the sewers to tell you that they will personally frick it! This post has so many notes and it's mostly people calling out their friends for their sewer-dwelling awful cryptid frickers and I love it! Expose them! Just for once in your life, don't smash! Big monster! You are loved, you are valuable, and you are needed. <laughs> A lake in Montana whose water is so clear it appears to be shallow, when really it's over 100 feet deep.
this is actually kind of terrifying because what if someone doesn't know how deep it is? So they go diving and they try to swim to the bottom, but they always seem just out of reach. So they keep swimming. And when they realize something's wrong, it's too late. Imagine seeing a body at the bottom. Tumblr has the ability to turn everything beautiful into something terrifying. What if you see a skeleton at the bottom of what appears to be a shallow part of the lake? As you dive down to check them out, you notice the water is deeper than you originally thought. Much deeper. You come to realize that there is no way these remains could be human. You're not even halfway down and already the skull looks bigger than your car. This started so tranquil, and then it turned into Friday the 13th. Where exactly is this? While my friend and I were out ice fishing, his dog broke out of his house and got herself a job. Full story? How did this happen? This dog has a job and I don't. So, Nina Tucker was four years old in 1914. That means she was born in 1910. Guess what year in the Chinese Zodiac that happened to be? Why did you think you needed to do this? Simple. I refuse to suffer alone, so I'm dragging everyone down in this fandom with me. One time my dad went through the White Castle drive through and the lady who was supposed to say, Welcome to White Castle, what's your crave? Asked, Welcome to White Castle, what's your problem? She apologized profusely while my dad proceeded to lose his sanity laughing. Yesterday I went to Wendy's and the girl said, Welcome to McDonald's, and then she just sighed. Somebody in the elevator asked me what floor I lived on and I answer, Please open your books to page 8. And we kind of just stared at each other, blinking. Waking up on November 1st is literally like walking through a door from Halloween Town to Christmas Town. What's this? What's this? There's decor everywhere. What's this? What's this? There's carols in the air. What's this? I can't believe my eyes. It's just November. Come on, folks. I mean, I swear. What is this? <laughs> what if you kept the horse mask 24-7 while raising the child, and they thought they were raised by a horseman hybrid and never knew any different, and then one day you took the mask off? That's a great idea. No one on Tumblr should ever become parents! I always wanted to find you all, though. Not like this. Not like this. Guess who's buying a couch that might not fit in his car? Guess who managed to fit an entire three-person sofa in his key soul? Bottoms find a way. I'm screaming! I worked with toddlers and preschoolers for three years. Sometimes I accidentally slip and tell a friend to say bye to an inanimate object. Say bye, bus! And occasionally they unthinkingly just do it. I'm glad there's a teacher version of accidentally called teacher mom. When I worked in medieval times, occasionally I would slip in real life and call people, my lord. One time during family prayer, dad began, Our father, who art in heaven. American Airlines, how can I help you? Damn it. In the Harry Potter universe, where paintings and images can interact with those looking at them, Waifu pillows are probably a lot more interesting. I can't believe you just casually posted this like it was an okay thing to do! Poor Rem is not prepared for the things that are ahead of her. This guy I know throws this wild crazy party at the end of every year, and he invites literally everyone in our grade. And this year, I'm gonna call the cops ahead of time to shut it down. Because once I let him borrow a pencil and he never gave it back. That's a lot of anger over just one pencil. It was a mechanical pencil! You may proceed! I tried ordering a boneless burger and the entire functioning system crashed. Read the error log. This thing didn't just crash. Somehow ordering a boneless burger corrupted the bootloader. Amazing bug right there. This thing didn't crash. It broke. Can someone who's never seen Full Metal Alchemist explain what is going on here? The VeggieTales meet Jackie Chan for the first time. Naked fruit. I feel like I wasn't supposed to see this. Pretty sure my soulmate is a bag of sour gummy worms. I just ate a whole bag of those, no joke. You piece of festering scab, that was the love of my life! I just had the best encounter with a child at Kmart. I was in the aisle shopping, and this girl and her dad came around the corner. The girl sees me and excitedly exclaimed, There's a human here! To which the father replied, Yes, there's humans everywhere. Bro, do you realize you met aliens? Not unusual for a Kmart. The gang's all here! The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Ah yes, clotting, idiocy. Hyperactivity, and finally, stay up! It's midnight and I just thought I should let you know that only the central 2.77% of your retina can detect color, so yeah, good morning. <sighs> it makes me sad that there's colors I'll never see. I'm afraid to ask, but have you ever heard of the coffee concoction known as Black Blood of the Earth? <laughs> that sounds metal as Frick Frackle and I want it! Loki, god of mischief. Ugh, more like a god of wearing handkerchiefs. Hey. 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 How dare you? 
You know that South Park pun you made? I hate it and I love it at the same time. You broke me. Yeah. What? What? You've been playing on Akinator over a thousand times. Akinator. That's that's the genie thing, right? Is that the genie thing? Guys, is that the genie thing? What's the hardest Fire Emblem game that ever existed and did you manage to beat it? <sighs> Genealogy of the Holy War. No, I did not. Close second is Fire Emblem Gaiden. Both of them make me hate my soul. Not a question, really, but... Ooh, I got chills. The ultimate rivalry. Irish coffee wizard PM Seymour versus Irish coffee wizard Jack Septiguy. I would immediately lose that fight. Hey PM, did you ever see the Phoenix Wright boot to the head video? Son, I have been on the internet a very, very long time. Of course I've seen it. It's still one of my favorites. Reinhardt haunts my dreams. Summoned a total of nine blue orbs and got four of him. Help me! I'm drowning in Reinhardt's! But Nat Noodle. Magic is everything. Did you, the Muffin Man? Ooh, so close. Being a dermatologist with incurable acne has got to be awkward. Yeah, it was like my nutritionist that was bigger than me at the time. Would you rather have toes for nipples or eyebrows for your nipples? Patrick, go to bed. Chicken nuggets. I don't think I want to eat chicken nuggets for a while. How about Ponkachu? You mean Clefairy? I want to see you do a JoJo pose, or if not, yell, Konadida! Uh, uh, hold on, let me pull up my binary translator here. Um... Greetings, fleshy one. Okay, uh, we're just gonna put that away now. Quick, explain in the quickest and dumbest way possible how that works. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, summon heroes. Follow rock, paper, scissors, triangle. Get three triangles. You did it! Is it weird that I can turn down the brightness of my phone with my thigh? Your thighs just want you to go to bed. Shower thought. If you had x-ray vision and looked in a mirror, would you see through the mirror? Or would it reflect off the mirror and you would see through yourself? <sighs> Oh, my brain 